All right, we're going to be showing today how to do a thoracentesis. So Dr. Fennessy here is going to be demonstrating while I talk through the procedures. The first step after identifying the appropriate patient and fluid pocket for the thoracentesis is injecting lidocaine into the area that you are going to go. For our demonstration purposes here for our kit, we have the kit horizontal, but you would want the patient to be upright in order to do this procedure. You can also have them in the lateral decubitus position. After injecting the lidocaine, you'll then take the scalpel out of the kit and make a small skin incision. And then this is the safety synthesis kit. You go ahead and take the trocar and go ahead and put it into the sheath here, which looks like a pigtail catheter. And the important part for this is to make sure that you hear this click. So that click means that it is fully engaged, which means that the safety mechanism is going to work. And Tracy's going to show you here on this table real quick what the safety mechanism looks like. So if you see as you push down, it becomes sharp. And as you lose pressure, so if you pull through, then it becomes dull again. When it is engaged, you'll get this red uh, marker knowing that the sharp area is now out. So going to where you just put in your lidocaine, you'll go ahead and advance through your scalpel. There are fenestrations towards the distal portion of your catheter. And you're going to aspirate as you go in looking for that fluid and you can see here that fluid is now coming up so you now know that your catheter is in the fluid pocket so what you can do is advance the catheter with holding the trocar stable and so that catheter will advance again you're holding the trocar so you're not advancing the trocar and what's nice about these kits is that these are self-sealing. So while that trocar comes out, you now do not have an open connection to the patient. The first step you can take, making sure your three-way stopcock is off, is open to the correct area. You'll go ahead and aspirate fluid and you can draw off this fluid. And if what you wanna do, this is one technique, is you could just continually pull off repeated 20 cc syringes of fluid. But you can take that fluid and then go ahead and distribute that into your um, specimen containers to send down to lab so that you can do appropriate testing on the fluid. There's three additional techniques in order to draw that fluid off. The first one we're going to show here is hooking up to wall suction. So the kits come with a Christmas tree adapter, which you can hook up to just your typical wall suction. Hook up the other end to that three-way stopcock, put it open. Now you want to make sure that your suction is no greater than 20, a negative 20, um, because you worry about re-expansion pulmonary edema. And for any of these techniques, you don't want to pull off more than 1,500 milliliters of fluid at a time. The next technique, which is be the same technique that we would use for a large volume paracentesis, is to hook up to a vacutainer. So this is the adapter that is in the kit. Go ahead and get your vacutainer and you would pull off that metal um, cap and go ahead and puncture into the vacutainer and pull off again no more than 1500 milliliters. The Last way is a manual way to pull it off. And there is this Y adapter that has two, there are really three ports to it, okay? You've got your short um, tubing that then comes up to um, this piece over here. And then you go ahead and have your long tubing that comes out this direction. So the short tubing goes towards the patient then in the middle piece, you would go ahead and connect your 20 cc syringe. And then you connect the long tubing to your fluid collection bag. 
we already have some fluid in our bag here. And then what you do here is you go ahead and pull. So you're gonna aspirate out fluid, making sure your stopcock is open. And you're gonna go ahead and see there's fluid coming into the syringe. And then because this is one way valves, you just go ahead and push the fluid and it'll come down here into your fluid collection bag. And you just do that 20 milliliters at a time, repeating the process until you pull out your 1500 milliliters. So for the interest of time, we'll just pretend that that has happened. Our patient has had a full 1500 milliliters, or if they, we have all the fluid out, or there are other reasons that we need to terminate the procedure, We'll close the stopcock, go ahead and disconnect. And then the last little piece is we'll go ahead and pull the tube out. So you can have the patient hum or cough while you're pulling this out. And then put over a band-aid, a simple band-aid over this. And then you, you can get a post-procedure chest x-ray and you're done.